Private Lender Podcast, Episode 89. The Private Lender Podcast quote of the day comes to us from Mahatma Gandhi, who said, Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. This is the Private Lender Podcast, the show that shares practical advice and know-how for new and seasoned lenders, from private mortgages on single-family houses to joint ventures on commercial projects and beyond. Discover details about investment vehicles that you won't find at your local bank or online broker. Listen and learn from private lenders and real estate investors, as well as from professionals and entrepreneurs, as they share the details, strategies, and the insight that allows for successful and prosperous lending. Now, get ready to increase your ROI. Here's your host, Keith Baker. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Private Lender Podcast. I'm your host, Keith Baker, and you are listening to episode number 88 today. Wrong. Wrong. Look at that. I've been away so long, I can't even count right. This is episode 89, and the person who just said wrong is the late, great Charlie Murphy. Rest in peace, sir. Now back to the show. And just want to also let everyone know that uh, recording this with Facebook Live, so it's been a long time. And coming, I've been wanting to do this uh, quite a bit and trying to get back in the saddle. And I just want to say thank you for listening. And hopefully we'll have uh, a little bit of fun today. Uh, first off, um, if you're new to the show uh, and you're looking for practical old world wealth building techniques, then you're in the right place. But if you want to learn from my mistakes so that you avoid them and don't commit them, uh, then pull up a chair, my friend, and uh, pour yourself a drink because um, this is where you need to be. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Jared LaFleur, hey, what's going on, buddy? Man, I haven't seen you in years, man. One of my old uh, oil field buddies. But uh, I got to uh, um, getting back into the podcasting game and digging through the office, and I found something the other day. I just, or actually, I found it today, and I just wanted to jump on and and just make dedicate an episode to uh, this 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 newspaper clipping that I found. Um, I'm just going to go on the corkboard, and I cut it out about twenty, almost twenty years ago. About 2001, I was working in downtown Houston, and I we would get the uh, investor investors business the investor business daily uh, newspaper, and I cut this out. It was the top t- or the ten secrets to success, whether it be monetary, you know, financial, uh, work, career, or however you want to decide uh, d- or decide how to you want to define success. And so I figured I just have a quick episode and run through this with you guys. Number one, how you think is everything. Always be positive. Think success, not failure. Beware of a negative environment. And that last part is uh, one of the most difficult to navigate because uh, a lot of times you're in the negative environment. You don't even don't even realize it, unfortunately. Uh, but it is good to get out and away from those and, and be positive. So number two, decide upon your true dreams and goals, which sounds a little... Flighty, I guess, is the word I'm looking for, but it is, I I believe it is a very good number two. Write down your specific goals and develop a plan to reach them. Uh, Kevin Smith, who has been on this podcast, is a, uh, he's a property inspector, but he's also uh, been a rehabber and an investor, and he has this real great saying, plan your work and then work your plan. It's just that simple. And deciding upon your true dreams, shit, I'm 45. I still don't know what my true dreams and goals are, but I got a decent idea now of, of what I want to do with, the, with all this that you see behind me. So number three, take action. Goals are nothing without action. Don't be afraid to get started. Just do it. Stole it from Nike, but it's so true. Thinking about it is great. I saw this on an episode of Shark Tank where uh, Mark Cuban got upset with a guy because he was preaching about what was going to be. And Mark immediately got out and and, and, I, and I don't blame him because the guy was just saying what what's going to happen what's going to happen he hadn't taken any action really outside of the idea up to that point so thinking is great I mean I have a, uh, have a degree in philosophy I, I I think it's really great but taking action beats anything else so just take action even if it's wrong I mean that, <laughs> that sounds bad but you're going to make mistakes learn from them number four Never stop learning. Go back to school or read books, get training, and acquire skills. And that just, especially in this day and age with the uh, technology that we have, you got to keep on the, you know, not on the cutting edge, but you got to keep educating yourself. And I like that. Keep reading. Always, you know, or go back to school. Some people go get MBAs or, other, or go finish their degree later in life. Go do it. But uh, number four, never stop learning. 
Number five, be persistent and work hard. Goes without saying, but success is a marathon, not a sprint. Never give up. Whether you this is with money, with real estate, with loans, or if you're a musician, for example, and you want to, that's your your lifelong goal is to be a professional musician. Then be persistent and hard work, or whatever it is, a CPA, an engineer, an attorney, doesn't matter. Number five is be persistent and work hard. Always, always, always. Number six, learn to analyze details. Get all the facts, all the input, and learn from your mistakes. And that ties back into never stop learning, but definitely mistakes are a great teacher. Success is not a good teacher. Number seven, focus your time and money. Don't let other people or things distract you. That is my hardest one. Um, yeah, focus is hard, not in an ADD, well, in an ADD way, but but also focus time and money. Don't let other people or things distract you. That's not, I mean, that doesn't mean don't take care of your family, but it is, I found it is very true that, especially in the last year, um, not to put too much credence on other people's opinions of me or what I'm doing or my plans or so not what, so much what I've done, but getting clear in that my own space in my own head space uh, has been very fruitful for me this year. So um, no set focus uh, is going to be one of my new year's resolutions, so to speak. Uh, number eight of um, the 10 secrets to success. Don't be afraid to innovate. Be different. Following the herd is a sure way to mediocrity. Yeah, I can't, I can't disagree with that, but <laughs> in some sense, but uh, I do like to don't be afraid to innovate. Think outside the box. Ask what if. Try new things. I mean, that's what that's how I got into this private lending gig, right? So, uh, can't, yeah, can't go wrong with that. Don't be afraid to innovate. Be different. Think for yourself. Number nine: deal and communicate with people effectively. Wow. If I, um, you know, if I had that, if I could do that, I'd, I'd probably still be married. But you know, hey, it uh, it is what it is. So, no person is an island. Learn to understand and motivate others. I, it's. Um, yeah, that's a pretty sound one uh, there as well. Uh, deal and communicate with people effectively. If you can do that, you can get a lot of mileage with that. A lot of mileage. Be honest and dependable. Take responsibility. Otherwise, number one through nine won't matter. That is my favorite one. Make a mistake, admit it. Own up to it. Learn from it. Don't hide it. Even if it means you're getting canned. Be honest and dependable and take responsibility. Hardly anybody... I say hardly, I'd say here I go in my soapbox, but it seems like the, we're in a culture, in a country that uh, where accountability has gone um, a long way away, where we, we don't have it so much anymore. But anyway, that is what I wanted to share with you guys today. I'm glad I see some folks are uh, coming up on the um, on the, the, the Facebook. Please uh, throw me some uh, throw me some shade or uh, some comments, and I. Um, Man, I, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm. I keep forgetting that I'm recording this. So, I mean, uh, I don't really have my script, but um, please reach out to me on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Also, you can go to the privatelenderpodcast dot com for more information. And let's see, what am I going to talk about on the next episode? Oh yeah, next episode will be: Are you an an investor or a laborer? That's the that's the big question. So with all that, um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and listening today. And I wish you prosperous and safe private lending. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Private Lender Podcast with your host, Keith Baker. For more great content and to stay up to date, visit privatelenderpodcast.com. If you enjoyed today's episode, please rate and review and we'll catch you next time. Wrong. Wrong.